people are worried about the health threat posed by COVID-19. And I think personally that that threat has been exaggerated. I mean, greatly exaggerated. Uh, sure, you know, it's a contagious disease and you can die from it, just like you can die from other things. Uh, but I think that the, the, uh, the risk to the population has been exaggerated and the response is, you know, excessive, right? And I think that even though some of the politicians initially may have just acted out of an abundance of caution and because they didn't have the data, you know, we have a lot of data now that shows that a lot of that caution was actually unnecessary. I mean, maybe you could say better safe than sorry. But I think now that we have the data, politicians don't want to admit that they overreacted because I think they're reveling in the fear that COVID-19 is creating and their ability to push through their agendas, their big government socialist agendas in this atmosphere that absent that fear, they never could do. So the politicians are now able to use this to their advantage. And so they don't want to say, hey, you know, we overreacted. It's not as big a threat as we thought. They like the idea that they can perpetuate uh, how big this threat is. And, and so they're not going to reverse course. So while everybody is, you know, exaggerating the health threat of COVID-19, they are completely, uh, you know, minimizing or ignoring the very real financial and economic threat of the government's reaction to COVID-19 and of the Federal Reserve's reaction to COVID-19. Those threats are real. Those threats are extremely serious, right? We are going to pay a heavy price, not for the disease, but for the government's financial and economic cure. You know, everybody just assumes that the government can help us just by printing money, right? That, that all they have to do, it's like a big giant get out of jail free card. Whenever you have a problem in the economy, well, the Federal Reserve just creates money and, and the problem is solved. What people don't understand is that it's not just that we don't solve the problem by printing money. We create an even bigger problem. So we compound the problem of COVID-19 and its effects on the economy by making the negative effects of the economy even worse in the government's attempt to counteract that perceived damage by printing money and by um, uh, and spending money. 